This playthrough is rated E10+. Salutation viewers, Baltimore back here, and the mail has come in, and this time it's Kung Fu Panda Showdown of Legendary Legends! Alright! Yeah! Kung Fu Panda. Man, Kung Fu Panda, one of those series of movies that when you first saw the trailers for it, you thought, this looks really stupid, you know, it's probably going to be a children's cartoon, it's got all the standard life voice actors who like, Jack Black is low! And not that I don't like Jack Black, just, you know, the point of it. But then I said, you know, I'm one of those... Uh, anime connoisseurs, which is basically I'll watch most animated stuff to at least give it a shot. I was one of those kids that when I was uh, when I was young, back in the day, I used to watch any cartoon that came out, and that was talking that was anything that was considered either voice cartoons or girl cartoons. Yes, I watched like Strawberry Shortcake and stuff like that because I couldn't get enough of animated stuff in general. So, you know, I'm one of those types of guys. So anyway, I went to go see Kung Fu Panda. And I was pleasantly surprised with the movie. I was like, this isn't actually half bad. You know, the, the jokes were funny. You know, it had some adult humor in it, but not enough to, like, turn off kids or adults. Although it was funny that Jackie Chan only has, like, five lines of dialogue in the very first movie. But, uh, anyway, then I watched the second movie came out, and I liked that even better. I thought that was just a little bit more darker, not too heavy, but just enough to, like, kind of get the feels. And... You know, Gary Oldman did a good job as the villain in that one. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch. If you haven't seen these movies, you should go watch them. Now, at the time of the recording this and getting this game in the mail, I have yet to see the third one, unfortunately, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I'll definitely go see it. I'm just one of those guys that takes forever to go see a movie because, I don't know, there's just something about it. It's the same with watching TV, uh, like watching a television show. I'm just like, sometimes I feel like I can't be bothered, even if it's something I generally want to go see. Um... Oh, there's also one other thing. There's three movies out. There's also a TV series called uh, Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesome, I think. Um, I have only watched like a handful of episodes. It's not bad. Uh, it kind of it kind of suffers from since it's on Nickelodeon, it suffers from the 12 minute episode span. So you know you have two 12 minute episodes in it, and it'll be just like short stories about Poe interacting with certain characters or things. I kind of wish they'd gone like a not maybe a 22 minute episode format for shows, but do more like a you know, more side stories about other characters in the world of Kung Fu Panda. Because if you watch the movies, hardly any of the other characters really get a lot of screen time when you think about it. Like the Ferocious Five and all that. Like, there's hardly any screen time with them. And I know it's called Kung Fu Panda, but still, you could do stories about them. And I think that, if I remember, the cartoon does come, do a couple episodes, but not as many as I'd like. So, I don't even know if the show, show, show is still going by the time I'm recording this. It may have ended already. Or they may have moved it back up because... They don't do standard seasons, and with the movie out, people will probably want to watch the cartoon now. Anyway, with the movie out, I thought I'd, I thought I'd get a chance to check out the game. Now, from what I understand, it's basically a fighting game. So, I don't know if it's even based off the movie, the third movie or not. So, I guess we'll find out. So, Alright, so we can either practice, tutorial, or... Actually, you know, let's try the tutorial. This may be one of those series of episodes where I just... Uh, I just do like a couple episodes, kind of like um, How to Train Your Dragon, although that game is like blocked in a lot of countries because I guess uh, some of the background music in it. But anyway, it was one of those games that I played for a couple episodes, although I got really sick of How to Train Your Dragon 2 like really quick. Like I'll, the movie's fine, but you know. anyway, let's uh, let's do some um, let's do some of the tutorials really quick before we do it. I don't, like I said, I don't even know if there's any story to this. I could be, I, it could be just a ha it could be just a, a beat em up, you know, so it might even be just one episode. Okay, um, gate not past the camera, extreme, uh, camera extremes could result in not. So, are we doing like a Mortal Kombat type of situation here? Okay. Uh, is, uh, kid, you're stuck. Uh, yeah. Time to the match. To Rules. Okay, not helped. Okay, so that's it. Huh. Okay. So it looks like it's almost like a sumo wrestling match or like Mortal Kombat where you just have to knock your opponent out of the area, so kinda of, or like smash. All the smash you could smash where you could just beat the crap out of your opponent and send them flying or whatever, so 
Eh, you know, like I said, if it ends up being just like a, a standard like tournament type of game and there's no story to it, this may be the only episode we do. So I might as well check everything out. That way it'll give you an idea if you want to buy the game or not. Unfortunately, most games based off movie or, movie or show tie-ins are usually not that good. Very rarely do they actually do very well, you know, uh, because, I mean, if the game company's idea is that it's aimed for children, we don't have to try very hard. Heck, when I was a kid, I was playing Mario Brothers and, and Final Fantasy and all that stuff, and that wasn't easy, you know, but I guess it's just the idea of things. Anyway, okay, so, stand to the left and right, okay. All right, then, I shouldn't have expected too much from the game. <laughs> I wonder if I could get a 100% uh, trophy unlocked by uh, doing all this stuff, or if there's even if there's even a trophy unlocking, but, oh, well, well, at least it'll give... At least by doing the tutorial, I'll show you and me how to do this, so. Not too bad. I think the last Kung Fu Panda game that came out was a beat, was a four, up to four person beat em up, if I remember correctly. Yep. Wow, you can just take a. I don't remember Poe being able to jump the high in, in the actual movies, but I could be wrong. Fighters with wings like Master Crane can shout to flat multiple times. But then again, he is supposed to be a Kung Fu Master, so. Jumping is easy for him, even a even a, a, a fat panda. Yeah. He's not fat, he's big boned. Yeah, we all like to say that. Alright, let's see, let's actually get to the attacking part of the game. It's probably going to be like just square and square and triangle or something like that, like square's weak punch and triangle's like strong punch or something, circles like around like that. Alright. That's standard, yeah. Attack combo. So you can the. Is it just me or is the voice dial uh dial? Actually, is was that actually Jack Black? I wonder if they got the rights to use his voice for this for this game or not. All right, anyway. So you have to hold and then press up. Okay. Whoa! A master. I died during the. Okay, so. I guess that's all, I guess that's what that is. Okay. okay, there we go. You gotta tap it instead of hold it. Yeah, I think that is Jack Black. Or if it's not Jack Black, it's a very uh Damn. It is like Smash almost with at least with the charge ability. I'm down to you need to... Okay, yeah, he's stuck with Bobby from the game. Uh, which he actually used in Taiwan in a... There you go. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's Taiwan for those who don't know. At least the, the... I assume he's playable in this game just because, why not? But he was a, a villain of the first, first movie. Alright. But yeah, it looks like it has a lot of... Standard moves, so nothing too complicated. So basically, I mean, this is an E10 Plus game. Although, for being an E10 Plus game, we think it'd be just a smidge more complicated. But, uh, that's a special attack? Okay, maybe it's got more. Oh. Okay. Got a spin and just a punch. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Gets his little rolly roll. Alright. He does his butt smash. <laughs> I said butt. Or butte if you want to if you want to be French, but of course if you say it like that it means something completely different. Or if you want to be scientific, gluteus maximus. That's is that not the one of the funnier terms for a body part that's in in, in uh, Latin is gluteus maximus. I mean, that pretty much says maximum, you maximus. That's big, you know. Anyway. All right, grab, so we're going to grapple techniques now. Okay. Dude, get off! Get off me, man! Get off! Me. All right, so then we can throw. Throw up. Yeah, I threw up. This is exciting, isn't it, folks? Watching me play the tutorial, man. Who knew a day like this was gonna come to pass? All right, I'm about to sneeze. Let's block and dodge. Yeah! Sorry, folks. Uh, hopefully that didn't catch all of that into the mic. That would have been really gross. Just watching the slow mo version of me sneeze. 
So he goes into a zen like state to, uh, to block. Alright, flash dodge. Okay, oh, wrong button. Oh. Talk about. Talk about Mystic. Yeah! Sorry. Oh, man, I live in a I live in a state that uh, that has a lot of allergies. So you know, you open the window once, and boy, howdy, does it come in! It's like you're not gonna have a regular day. You are going to be sneezing. Oh, well, anyway, let's keep finishing this edge grabber. Player sometimes try to grab the edge. Yeah. From here, you can find back jump or even attack. Okay, so just let's see if we can actually grab onto the edge. Okay. Let's see. If... Okay, that's that was pretty straightforward. It's funny how the tutorial doesn't actually tell you to actually fall off the ledge to test it. It just tells you what it is. It's just like this is what you do. All right, I think we're not going to do practice because I think that's. Since we're watching the tutorial of it, I think we can just go straight into the gameplay. That way, I can at least show you how it actually fight goes. Pick up weapon. Oh, man, everyone seems to copy Smash nowadays. Oh, okay. Well, you grab it with a square and use it with square. Hooray! That's all it takes. It's not too bad at all. Why even a caveman could do it. Okay, what type of tutorial is awesome? Yeah, the only bad thing about the Kung Fu Pan movies is it uses the word awesome so much that it loses all meaning. You know, he's like, okay. Okay, when you pause the OSG, you'll probably fill your awesome meter. Use awesome! Mushi yeah! finger hold! Mushi finger hold? Uh, but wait, I thought Mushi finger hold was uh, him grabbing their finger or pinky or whatever, and then he raises pinky and lowers it. But all he did there was put a palm to him and do the mushy finger hold. Unless that's, that scene looks like it's done from the well, the third movie. I mean, it's not, it doesn't have to be exact, but, you know, just, I've watched the movies. I, I know my content. Alright, so, yeah, it looks like it's just a standard tournament. Let's see how much time do I have. I think I could do a tournament really quick. Alright, um... What is... Okay, so Student Brawler, Instructor, Master, Legends, the highest... Wait, that's weird. Usually the ga a game will tell, will show you... Uh, will have you start at the weakest level, but it looks like this one set me at this highest level. Uh, okay, before we look at all the characters, let's go back to Shifu really quick. Okay, so... Um, this is... You know what? I'm going to try Legend. Let's see how far I get on Legend. Since I doubt there's any story mode to this, so... Alright, Shifu, that's his... I think that's his design for the second one. He may wear that in the third one as well. Shifu, the Master of Poe in the Furious Five. Uh, uh, apprentice to... Uh, uh, um, well, his, his name will come up here in a second. I can't believe I forgot off the top of my head. Uh, Tigris, a uh, pl uh, voice by... Oh, yeah, uh, sorry, Master Shifu's... Uh, Michael... Uh, Michael... Michael Douglas? No, not Michael Douglas, uh... Oh, I forgot his name now. Awesome dude. Anyway, so. Tigress, the tiger. Uh, she's a brute force fighter. Voiced by Angelita Jolie. Awesome. Uh, Monkey, voiced by Jackie Chan. Got five lines in the first film. And I think he gets like... I think he gets six lines in the second movie. I wonder how much he got paid for that, too. Uh, Crane, voiced by David Cross. Awesome. Funny comedian. Uh, I'll, he hasn't done much. I think he just now started doing stand-up at least by the recording of this. Poe, voiced by Jack Black, Panda, main hero. Ah, Master Uguay, that's it. Master Uguay, I forgot his voice actor, uh, Zen Master and all that. Disappeared to Petal of Flowers at the, during the first movie. Mr. Ping, uh, Poe's uh, foster dad, I forgot who voiced him. Awesome guy, though, from what I remember. Uh, Su Wu is from... I think she's from the TV show. She might be from the newest movie, but I think she's from the TV show, actually. Or from the spin-off uh, uh, Tales of the Furious Five, maybe. Ah, Tai Long, villain in the first game. <laughs> Baby Poe. Uh, uh, Rhino Vagnier, voiced by the late... That is Michael Clark Duncan's character, right? The late, great Michael Clark Duncan voices this guy. He was one of the guards, I think. Uh, Master Croc, I don't remember who voiced him. He was in the second movie. Master Boar. He... 
I don't. He might be from the show because I don't remember seeing anything from him in the trailers for the third movie. Storming Ox. He's from the second movie. I forgot who voiced him. Soothsayer. She's from the second movie. She's a fortune teller. Wolf Boss. He's from the second movie. Works for the crane dude. Or, yeah, works for the, uh, no, uh, peacock dude. Voiced by Gary Oldman. Real Soldier. He's from the second movie as well. Ah, Shen, the Gary Oldman character. He was very intimidating for a villain in a movie, I gotta admit. He did, Gary Oldman did a good job on that. May May. I think she's from the newest movie. Uh, I don't know. Well, I, since I haven't seen the newest movie yet, you'll have to excuse me. I don't know much about her. Master Bear. He might be from the new movie as well. Or the TV show. I'm not sure. Oh, that's it. Okay. Um, who do I want to play as? Uh, I'm trying, uh, well, I don't know who to, I'd say my favorite character is in this. Oh, you don't get to play as uh, a Master Ma Mistress Snake and, uh, and, uh, and uh, a Praying Manta uh, Mantis. Well, that sucks. Probably because they're just weird character setup. Is a... Let's go with Mr. Ping. Let's see how that works. Let's see how long I last in legend mode, by the way, folks. Let's see if I get get my Gluteus Maximus beat. But yeah, it looks like, unfortunately, that there is no story mode to this, so this will probably be a one-time episode. So I'll try to get as far as I can. Basically, I'll play till I lose. Uh, and then I'll and then I'll call it an episode. I think. Hundreds of years ago, there was unrest in the Valley of Peace. Heroes and villains were locked in a constant struggle to prove who was the most skilled. All seemed hopeless until one day, a kung fu student, wise beyond his years, came forward and demanded that a tournament be held to determine once and for all po. who was the most bodaciously awesome kung fu master in all the land. Poe? Yeah, Poe was pretty awesome, but... Poe! Oh, hey, Master Shifu. Poe, the unrest was not hundreds of years ago. It was last week. All last week. Yeah, but... And the constant struggle was you nagging me to hold this so-called showdown of legendary legends. Well, yeah, but... And I said, yes. Yeah, but... Really? Cool! <sighs> Everyone is already assembled. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Dreams do come true. I guess there is... I guess there is a smidge of a story. Not much of one, but the... It's big time, big time. Oh wow, Legend is uh, harder than I thought. It does have a Smash Brothers uh, 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 quality to it. Oops, I forgot. To you know, I just did. I just did the tutorial, or just did the tutorial, and uh, I've already forgot what I'm supposed to do. So there's Flash. Dodge again. But yeah, it has a very Smash Smash Brothers uh, setup. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, I didn't. It sounds like the guy who voiced uh, this character. Oh man! So, oh, Ooh. I might not be able to beat Legend Dasher. Oh, we we even got a. Okay, we even got Smash trophies. Oh, I think I'm. <laughs> I may have to. I may have to do this in the in normal mode just to just to actually play the game. But I said I'd play until I got lost. I might. I might do play this off screen just to see if there's actually any story to it, and if there is, I'll I'll actually. Uh, um, wow, he's got an infinite move. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of sad that I'm, I'm losing so badly on legend mode. I take advantage of all the options that this game gives me. Okay, it looks like I got a heal out of it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> got it like a Chun Li infinite oh. kick move here, except it's with the. Uh... Nice. <laughs> so I can actually hit, although I'm gonna lose because he's he's got the higher points anyway. Set. Oh, okay. So it isn't one of those types of things. Have to be 
careful that he doesn't. Uh, that I can hit him first, otherwise he'll win. There we go. Oh, come on! There we go. Woo, I won. Wow, I'm surprised, actually. I should have lost. How many matches are there for? Oh, and it's a two-player max, so huh? Okay. But yeah, I bet the only cutscenes are at the beginning and at the end. So if I do lose before I get to the end, what I'll do is I'll off screen, probably off screen beat it and see if there's any like any ending like cinematic or something like that. But I guess Take it from me. That. Your goose is cooked. You are about to be bored to tears. You Ugh, are not so ready for puns. this. Trust me. <laughs> I think Su Wu is from the TV series. Whoa, ow. Oh, who's my companion? Oh, boy, the guy I just beat is my companion. Okay, nice. Wow, I'm sucking at this. Can you really, like, just not get... Can I get killed over? <laughs> Good! I'm the best companion ever. I mean, if I actually tried, I probably could, like, I could probably actually beat this, but, I don't know. That's funny, that she, that they both can go up. Then again, I've never been good at fighting games, to tell you the truth, folks. So, the fact that I'm not doing well on the hardest difficulty isn't surprising. I don't do it okay. Uh, like, probably because this game isn't meant to be for, like, it's supposed to be for everyone. So it's probably, even on the hardest difficulty, it's probably not meant to be hard. Heck, I beat, uh, I beat some uh, uh, game tie-in movies game before on the hardest difficulty. Man, I suck. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That was awesome. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna start using that. Oh. What if I could wait for. Oh, that's right. Awesome ability. I forgot. Oh, crap. I'm probably dead. No, the. Okay, I know what she's from. She's from the, the, uh, the series. She's a bad guy. That's right. Oh crap. Uh, I keep forgetting I have a flash ability, you know. Uh-oh. Okay. Looks like it's just me and him, unfortunately. Aw, oh, come on, really? Have I done, like, no damage this dude? Ah, oh, he got me! Yeah. Alright, so what I'm going to do uh, off-screen really quick is I'm going to set it to, like, student mode and just beat the game. And I'll, and if there's any cinematics, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll go straight to the credits and do my quick overall view of the game. So I'll see you in a minute. It was experience, not awesomeness, that won this tournament. All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, I beat the tournament, and unfortunately, there is no cutscene for it. It just has like the character going. I did it, and you win. So uh, at the end, you fight uh, the final next to last. You fight Tai Long, and on the final, you fight Shin. Uh, or it's probably their opposite if you're playing as them in the game. Anyway, a uh, quick review of the game uh, since it's a one-time off. Uh, it's basically a cheat man Smash Brothers. Uh, 
I mean, it's an interesting idea of taking all the characters from the game and putting it in a fighting tournament, but if it's just going to be fighting, you have to either give like a lot of different levels, a lot of different options for like areas to fight in. Um, I mean, technically when you do the tournament, there's one for each area you fight in, so that's 10 areas to go through, which is not too bad, and you get about, I didn't count how many, I think you get like 10 characters to control. So for a first game, that's not, not too bad. Um, each character has their own unique unique fighting style. They have their own unique uh, fight types. Sort of not copies of each other for the most part. You do get summons to summon people. You do get items like drops. So, like I said, it's a very cheap man's Smash Brothers. Uh, really, this is one of those games that if you really like the series, it's... I don't know. I, I, it's not It's not god-awful. Let's just say that because everything, everything works as it should. It's just... I don't know if there's enough for the game to be worth a purchase, even if you really like the series. Like, I'd rather suggest, like, Smash Brothers, really, if you had a choice. Uh, unfortunately, that is only a Nintendo. So, I guess I'll just... No, that was pretty much the credits. I didn't even finish my run of the review of the game. Okay, basically the game is not god-awful. If you need, like, a cheap version of Smash Brothers on a different console, probably if you're doing PlayStation, I'd probably suggest PlayStation All-Stars more over this because at least there's a bit more interesting characters and levels and stuff like that and it's based off Sony Heroes instead. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, and I, I've, the only problem I really had with the game is I felt the c controls were a little floaty at times and not uh, super responsive, but it could be my controller. So I don't want to blame that on the game and whatnot. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's really nothing else in the game. I thought about I thought about just recording myself doing the tournament, but I didn't think that'd be interesting enough. And since there's no story, I didn't think that was worth it as well. So, um, I say I'd give this game like a. I mean, it's 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 okay. I mean, like I said, it's not bad. So I'd probably give it a six out of ten. Very average. It's not god awful. It's really only good if you want it for your collection or if you really really like Kung Fu Panda and you just want to have it just for kicks because I mean it does all the things that should be right it's just it's not something I would buy though um, if you could buy it for like 10 or 20 bucks maybe worth pick it up but I'll send the game back so all right I guess that's it thanks for watching me play Kung Fu Panda showdown of legendary legends I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you when the mail comes in next thanks for watching